Hello everybody, here is Michael Mark and welcome to my books channel. Today I bring you by Grandma Soi Janta. She is 65 years old and she has two kids. And she lives at Saang, so in Cambodia. Mostly in Cambodia, so is the warm climate, and then they can grow the mango. You can see, but uh, you can see around here. You see the net because she put it for protection her chicken, like running around on the road, get an accident, hit by motorcycle. Today is Wendy's and the mango has a lot of fruit, but the fruit is still young yet. You can see all uh, this her house, it, the, the wooden house. This house very poor, she very old, she cannot afford anything, just live whatever she can. Tak and Puwat went there to interview her, like uh, what is her stories of the life, that how is she doing. But in these areas, it's the flood areas, I always say it like the poor people live in the flood area. And her house building from the team, but she couldn't afford to remodel or do anything for a better house for living and they use the water from the water pond. And the pond behind her house, she's just searching for some fish for her dinners or for her lunch. And that under her house looked like but during the flood, flood cannot take over her house and she has no place to live. But the dry season like this is a lot of better for her living. And her floor is uh, broken too, but as I mentioned about, she is so poor, she could not afford for anything. Even she didn't have the money to buy a food for herself. This jar containing the water pond from her backyard or the other place, that some not clean water, but she just do the best she can. And she working around her house like whatever, they have a job like in the farm, pulling the grass, cleaning all kind of the weed in the farm, or whatever they need her for working a day or two and she can earn some money. Here is her granddaughter, so beautiful, she is 10 years old. I can't imagine for all these young people and all children lives, they have no future because their parent cannot afford to send them to school. Here she prepared some food for her lunch and this fish she got it from the water pond and Putak say hello, she said Hello, how are you? She said, I'm doing all right. And how is your life? She said, well, whatever I can take, it's so poor, it's very hard in my life. And then my husband passed away. When he's still alive, he going to work in the local. Whatever the job is open, and he can work pay day by day, it's about 20 to 25,000 real. Mm -hmm. 
$1 is $4,000 real. And she loved her granddaughter. She it looked so beautiful, but she didn't understand anything much because uh, she's just 10 years old. But uh, you can see by this video, so uh, she's very pretty. And the young lady don't know what is her future life. Because it, no public schools around uh, either get closer to her house, but she tried the best to send her granddaughter go to school. And Grandma Soi Janta is 65, she lived by herself, but her granddaughter lived with her parents. But she said sometimes her father not get too much upset and she can come to visit her. Why her father get upset? He not allow her to come to see her. You know, her life is so sad and lonely, live by herself, just searching some food, searching some job to make a, a living. And she raised some chicken too, and then chicken one kilogram, 17,000 real. And just a little money to buy some rice, a few kilograms of rice to her make her food, to make her living, uh, for, especially just for the food supply. Thank you for kindly heart, donate her $30 in Cambodian money, 120,000 real. It sounds it's a lot of money, but only $30. Before Putak and Puvot leave, she picked some young mango to give to them. But Puvot said, just say for yourself, don't pick. But she so much uh, thank you to both of them so friendly to come to her house and just give her some money, $30. She's so excited and uh, she's so happy to see uh, good heart people like that. In her entire life, nobody give her $30, but this is the first time for her life. Yeah, they both happy now uh, because they got a little uh, money to buy something and then they so excited. It, it just $30, but it over at Cambodia for poor people is a lot of money. This is to the end of Grandma Soi Janta. She is 65 years old and she has two children and she lives at Sa'ang and you guys already know about her life and this is the end of the video I have to go and if you guys haven't subscribed yet please help to support subscribe and click notification bell to get new video upload to my youtube channel my work and thank you very much for your support and thank you for you will like you you guys have a wonderful day stay tuned we'll see you guys on the next video bye bye now